This tricky geometry puzzle has left many adults confused, but can you solve this? We are given three square placed side by side like this. Total length of their combined base as 22 units, and this side length as 2 units, and this side length as 6 units. And our goal is to find the total area of these blue shaded squares. Sounds simple, right? You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it, and when you're ready, you can always come back to verify your answer. All right, let us solve it together. But before we begin, let's define the side lengths of the three squares. Let's call the side of this square as A, the side of this middle square as B, and the side of this third square as C. Since all three shapes are squares, that means the base of this square is also A, the base of this square is B, and the base of the third square is C. So the total length of the base, which is A plus B plus C, must equal 22 units, right? Let us call this as equation 1. Now let's focus on the dimensions of each square a little more closely. Take a look at the middle square. Its side length is b. From the diagram, we can clearly see that the total height of this middle square is made up of the height of this smaller square, which we defined as a plus an extra amount of 2 units. So we can say that a plus 2 is equal to b. And if we subtract 2 from both sides, we have a is equal to b minus 2. Let's call this as equation 2. Now let's look at this square on the right. Its side length is c, and from the diagram, we see that c plus 6 is equal to b, and subtracting 6 from both sides, we get that c is equal to b minus 6. Let's call this equation 3. Now we have everything we need to move forward. Let's substitute the expressions from the second and third equations into the first equation. So replacing a and c in the first equation, we now have b minus 2 plus b plus b minus 6 is equal to 22. Adding plus 2 and plus 6 to both sides, that gives us b plus b plus b, or 3 times b, is equal to 30. Now dividing 3 from both sides, we have b is equal to 30 divided by 3, or b equals 10. Now let's substitute this value of b into the second and third equations. So a is equal to 10 minus 2, or 8, and c is equal to 10 minus 6, or 4. Now to find the total area of the blue shaded region, we simply calculate the area of each square and then add them together. We know that the area of a square is given by squared of its side length. So we have this first square has a side length of 8, so its area is 8 squared, which is 64. This middle square has a side length of 10, so its area is 10 squared, which is 100. This third square has a side length of 4, so its area is 4 squared, which is 16. Now adding them all together, we have 64 plus 100 plus 16 equals 180. So the total area of the blue shaded squares is 180 square units. And that's our answer. Isn't it amazing how it all comes together with just a bit of reasoning and logic? Now before you go, I have a bonus challenge just for you. Can you find the area of this blue shaded region in terms of variable x, y, and z instead of numbers? Think about it and drop your answer in the comments below. Let's see who can figure it out. If you enjoyed this explanation and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more brain-teasing math puzzles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.